Hey, ladies and gents, Romy Reviews here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Quick update. So I won't be doing the video. I won't continue on with Queen Sugar for one simple reason. I love the show, but it's, it's, it sucks a lot of energy out. So I am just going to watch it, enjoy it. Maybe if something monumental happens, maybe I'll go and just talk about that. Um, so, and I'm also going to be adding some new segments and stuff to my channel and I recorded this video before for Real Housewives of Potomac. I accidentally deleted it. I thought it was old video, so I deleted it. So this is me doing this for the second darn time on a Sunday night. I have to go to work tomorrow. So this is going to be shorter than that first one. The episode starts off with Ashley. She's doing her namaste yoga because she needs to go and really think about how she's going to do things moving forward. Why? Her relationship is better now with Michael. They're on the, they're, they're on the mends, but that could change. And she needs to do everything she can to make sure that that doesn't happen. Now, apparently Ashley had an original prenup agreement, of course, which she told us before, uh, the difference is that it looks like she offered to go and alter it just to go and show that she really is in the relationship for him and not for his money. When I tell you the actual arrangement of the prenub, you're going to be like, what? So I'm going to hold on to that for a little bit. Giselle invited Robin over so that they can go and watch Giselle put blood on her face. And it's the process of they take the blood out of her, they go and probably put it to a machine to, you know, get the, um, to get all of that nutrients, the plasma, you name it out of it. And they primed her face and they put that blood on right after. So it can bring the collagen levels out. Because Giselle has a beauty line, Everyday Hue. She needs to make sure that she's a good representation and accurate representation of her beauty line. While they're doing that, she also has a birthday party coming up. And she's inviting everyone except for Candace. And you know what? That's that's fair. That's fair. Because right now, she is pretty much in a good place with everyone else. Sherman may not come, which is crazy since that's supposed to be her boyfriend. And we see that Monique... So we're doing two dual scenes. Monique, she's at this dress shop because she actually got invited to this charity event for, uh, I forgot what it's for. The important thing is they want Monique and not just, oh, she's Monique Samuels. No, they want her because she's Monique. So she's happy about that. She's thr thrilled about that. And she has a friend named Gigi who I guess is going to be with her possibly for the rest of the show for moral support and we'll see how she does and maybe she can get you know promoted but right now she's just Monique's friend she's fun she's nice to have around Monique's there with her mom and her mom looks great her mom definitely could actually be her sister and that not just be a fake compliment that people give when your parents look relatively good they try on the dresses and you know Monique's dress Monique looks good, so when she put on the dress, I was like, okay, it's just cool. It's cool. It didn't really do much because Monique looked good. I was like, we can we can get a more pop dress than that. Come on now. Uh, but it's this weird thing of now we have to talk about who we also didn't invite. Monique didn't invite Robin because she's not in a good place with Robin. I said, that's fair. Robin has an event, her woman empowerment thing. Oh, let me stop doing that. Her Women Empowerment Summit, because it is, it, is a, it is a great cause. So let me stop doing that. She didn't invite Monique. Guess what? Both of their events are on the same day. You know what that also means? That means now people have to choose a side. Whose event are they going to go to? That's going to be the premise for the rest of this episode. They already set this episode up within the first five minutes. Which is good because at least I don't have, you don't have to do much thinking. We have sprinkles of Candace. Candace, she her mother's in town because her mother's always in town because her mother loves being doted on as she should be doted on. And so why not be doted on in the house that she partially helped pay for? It's just and it has the aunt we did. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Candace moving her business from online to having brick and mortar stores. Great. You would think. But there's an issue. Candace 
her online pres. First of all, when you're on online, that lack of overhead is amazing. Now she has overhead. She has to deal with the inventory, store inventory. Now she has to deal with a lease or a mortgage. Now she has to deal with, oh, competition. Really have to deal with competition. Her mother's not sure. Her mother definitely believes that they can be successful with it. She wants to move forward with it. She's just not sure if Candace is ready for that because it's a lot of physical work that she hasn't had to do yet. Let's just call it what it is. That's why her mom feels that way. And the mom just wants her daughter to be success right out of the gate. The problem is that I think we're going to have to come to a happy medium of your daughter seems great. So you're going to have to allow her to see certain things for itself. I know you won't allow her to see too much because you're financing a lot of this. So that would mean you'd lose your money as well. And I'm sure that's the bigger picture of this. If Candace actually had different investors and stuff, then that wouldn't be a problem. But dang it, that scar from when my nephew playfully scratched me still is there. And a couple, and you know, if it was, that's a funny thing. If that was anyone else or any other reason, I'd be pissed. But what am I going to do? Cute babies too. So, uh, now, Ashley goes to Michael's office. She talks to her husband. She goes and she crosses her legs, does the pose that Michael likes. He's nice. And Michael's on his motorboard. Why do I call it a motorboard? He's on his hoverboard, if you will, at, at making sure the circulation is right. And here's the thing. Ashley is the one that said, why don't we go and upgrade the prenup? Why don't I, ex why don't we extend it to five years instead of three? Think about this. They've been married for two and a half years or so. So it's already, it's already almost three years. N Ashley technically just added 2.5 more years or less than two and a half years to her sentence. I mean, to her marriage. I mean, to the prenup. This is the prenup. And I do believe that Ashley really wants to be married. And I do believe Michael really wants to be married to Ashley. But they're just seeing different sides of each other that they didn't realize they had, would have had to do with when they first got together. And that happens to a lot of people. That happens to a lot of people. Everything was cool until Ashley... I, I'm not sure if it was a joke or not. But we know how Ashley is. She jokes around a lot. She wants to talk about the number. Like, this number, though. Like, what is this? What's going on here? Um, it's... Michael professionally went off. He was like, we're not doing that. I don't care if this camera's here. We, we need to turn the cameras off. We're not doing that. We're not talking actual numbers here. We're not going to go and discuss that on camera. I'm thinking, Ashley... This man has an ex. This man has kids. This man has businesses. You can't go and this isn't a, I get it that that's tongue in cheek, but let's be very clear. He loves you, but he's had all that stuff before you. So he's not going to let anything or anyone get even for a second mess with that. That was a, you're not about to play me on this camera. You can do and say whatever else you want about me. But you, we're not doing the stuff about the family. Or we're not doing stuff about the business. About my money. The narrow. D don't count my pockets on these. So then she was like, oh, okay. But then the conversation got weird. Because they transitioned to, uh, do you, are you with me? Or do you really want to? Do you trust me? That's what the real problem is. Do you trust me? Michael essentially says, you know, every man has his doubts, but he does trust her now. Okay. This is a one step at a time type of relationship. That's how all relationships are, but this is really a one step at a time type of relationship. We'll see how it goes. Either way, Ashley, when she was talking about that prenup and that money from that prenup, she... Made it seem like, oh, even that lump sum was nice. So I'm thinking, Ashley, oh, no, wow. Ooh, 
a little bit less than two and a half more years and then I can go and get the guap. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Sounds good to me. We're at Giselle's birthday party. Robin's there. You know, success, blessings, and happiness. Ashley comes along. The first thing she asks for, oh, where's Sh uh, Sherman? Which is fine because Ashley, um, Sherman was there last year. That he apparently has been around the group a little bit more than we've originally um, thought. So now it becomes a thing of, well, you have been around this group that is in front of the cameras. So you can't say now all of a sudden you have an issue with the cameras. Now that doesn't make sense. That does not compute. That truly does not compute. Hmm. Anyway. Um, there was this weird moment where I, Karen came. And so then Karen, she, you know, this is the first time that Giselle saw Karen after, again, an issue at an event. And so Giselle said, I did not do that this time. I'm glad that Karen called her out on it. I'm glad that Karen said, wait a minute now. Let's not act like you start a fire and then watch it burn. <laughs> Giselle said, no, 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 I, I have the hot sauce. I just put the little spice on the situation. But Ashley, you know, she stirs the pot. Here we go. Now, I will have to say, whoever does the editing on this show, especially with the confessionals, they do a great job. Because how they cut in and out and how everyone, they're just in sync. Because Ashley, they had a clip of Ashley stirring the pot. <laughs> like, that's not cute, but at least it fits. That's what matters most. Giselle's party, actually, it's going well. Monique is there. Of course, Monique doesn't have interactions with Robin, and that makes sense. Um, Candace wasn't there because Candace... I, and it's weird. I really think that Giselle does like Candace, but Candace really went off and really clowned Giselle. And so Giselle can't go and just have someone that said all of that about her in her space, in her place, six, uh, you know, basking in her success and that happiness. But I do think that Giselle actually likes Candace. If they didn't have that type of blow up, then I really think that things will have been different. So Candace is at home instead with her man, as she said, and her house and the business. And she's happy. I said, oh, I, I, I got what you said. I caught that. Cool. We got it. We got it. Well, we all... Chris created a new cocktail and it's a signature Candace cocktail. It's dark. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Candace was like, yes, yes, beautiful. Yes, dark brown. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> bitter. <laughs> I was like, not bitter. <laughs> oh, Chris, you're playing too much. <laughs> Hurricane Candace might come out, which is fine with me. That'd be entertaining. And like I said, all is well, but at Giselle's party, again, it's this whole thing of where Sherman by Ashley. I said, Ashley, don't, okay, we're doing too much now. Stop it. Stop it. You're right in what you're saying, but it's still a stop it. We know this man should be there. You, we know that it would be great if he just did a last minute pop up. We know that it, the flowers that were there, it would be nice if it was him. But their relationship just seems to be over. That, that's what it is. It's huge. Now, this is where the confirmation of uh, Robin and Monique having different events. And who's going to go to who? Of course, Giselle's going to Robin's. Ashley doesn't say who she's going to initially. Sharice is definitely going to Monique's. And Robin is hurt. And she gets up and she leaves because she doesn't understand why Sharice, even though she's been friends with Monique, I mean, with... Uh, Robin and Sharice have been friends for years. And so Robin is hurt that Sharice wouldn't come to her women empowerment thing. I said, but that's how you know that you guys are, you two are friends. It's just that at this moment, she's closer to Monique. Just like how you've always been closer, closer to Giselle. There's a difference between being friends with someone and being really close friends. You and Sharice are friends. You were close. 
you're not close anymore. You have to consistently be close with someone to be close. Not this, oh, we were five years ago, we were really close, buddy, buddy, chummy, chummy. That doesn't count. It really doesn't. It's great for nostalgia, though. But it's fine because guess who is coming? Candace. And I was a little surprised. I said, wait a minute. So now you're going to be friends with someone who clowned your close friend? Is that Fugazi? Part of me said, hmm. But I'm going to say no. Only because I actually appreciate the fact that Again, I feel like Giselle actually likes Candace overall. So I'm not surprised that Robin is like, well, I didn't have the argument with her. I would have been fine. I would have been fine. She's bubbly. She's fun. She's refreshing. So, you know, she she does all of this. It's a, it's a nice time. It's a nice time. It's just, it's just good vibes, good energy until Karen comes in. Karen comes in and Karen decides... <sighs> Can I get some chamomile tea? Oh, just thank you. <laughs> Karen, stop it. Apparently, Karen can answer a text because she dropped her phone and a Siri was acting up. Siri was the one who was supposed to go and plan her itinerary because that's who her actual assistant is. Not the other guy that we've been seeing, but Siri. And so if Siri can't do what it do, then Siri is then Karen can't have her stuff together. That's Karen's way of saying, I'm sorry I double booked. I said yes to you as in a yes, girl, yeah. Not a, yeah, yeah of course, I'll, yes, I'll be at your event. No, it was just like, you do your thing. You do the dang thing over there. That's what that yes was about. And Robin, again, is hurt because Robin's trying to figure out, I'm close friends with you. Why are you going to Monique's? But the thing is, if she confirmed with Monique first, then what's the problem? It, it sounds like even though Robin's been working on this for months, it sounds like the actual date was only dispersed by a certain time and Monique got the jump. That, that's what happens. That's what happens when people have to choose sides and they're going to go with the person, aside from who they give their commitment to, they're going to go with the person who they've been having good vibes and energies with. And are we going to pretend like you weren't, you and Giselle weren't going and clowning Karen about the finances or kind of being a listening ear one minute and then talking about her the next. So you really thought that Karen was going to go and take back her prior commitment to Monique for you at this point in time? No, no, that was never going to happen. Let, people need to start actually thinking about some of the actions that they've done that would result in uh, some of the feedback or response that they're getting from people. Anyway, we get this couple's date between Monique and Chris and Ashley, Michael. It's good because they're friends again. They're friends again. They're building a relationship again. Everything seems cool. They're going bowling. Chris and Monique, they did horribly. They're not bowlers. It's not their thing. But they, they were, they, when everyone was just cool, calm, and collected, that's when the questions happened about kids because Ashley loves Monique's kids, and so Ashley wants some kids of her own, which we already know. Michael is now open to having kids with Ashley sooner than what, you know, sooner than later. That's what it sounds like, which is cool. It's cool. Ashley's like, okay, I'm going to have to go and make sure that I get this done, accomplished sooner and later. You dang skip it. Oh, that's all I needed. Now, the men go one way, the ladies go and sit down, and they're actually drinking in front of each other. So that's how you know that they're trying to build a friendship again. Ashley acknowledges she can't go to Monique's event because she has a prior commitment to uh, Robin. And even though she's not friends, friend friends with Robin, they've, they were always started off on a bad foot. And it just progressed in a negative uh, direction from there. They've started to rebuild on something positive. And aside from that, she told Robin she would go first. And even though Monique's thinking, we're supposed to actually be friend friends and we're trying to build something. I respect the fact that you are not just doubling down on, oh, well, even though I gave my word and commitment to this person, screw that. So I said, yes, yes, some form of morals. That's nice every once in a while consistency it's nice 
we jump from that to Monique actually being the more so messy one in this case because Monique and again I don't know where this is coming from since Monique and Giselle are in an okay place overall okay place Monique decided she wanted to go and say the story about maybe the grass isn't green with um with Giselle and Sherman because Sherman's ex who was friends with Sharice, which I'm thinking, wait a minute. This is already sounding messy. Sharice, how are you friends with Giselle? And, and, and Sher okay, okay. But Sherman's ex let it be known that Sherman was caught in his car, which was parked at a park with a prostitute in it. And he was being pleasured in that car receiving some oral and the cops came knock 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 but uh, again i'm thinking this story is messy it came out of nowhere and sherman's not even on the show why are we even talking about him with something like that if anything why are we going to just that's what i was thinking i'm like monique you know you know ali uh, where did this even come from it was just, it was just the oddest thing. It was the oddest story. It was it, just because I'm thinking it came out of nowhere. It didn't really come out of nowhere, but you know what I mean. The, we end this off with Robin and Juan. They're actually in a better place. They really are in a better place. And why did they have to show that picture of Juan with Melo on the floor? I'm thinking that's not, come on, we can't do that to Melo. I don't care if he's not in New York anymore. We can't do that to him. Uh, Giselle comes and she was supposed to bring Sherman with her. I knew that was going to happen because how how could she do that if Sherman didn't even come to her birthday party? She comes in and Juan's thinking, oh, wait, Sherman, where where is he? Oh, is he else? Uh, oh, why? why I just wanted to go and watch football. Why were we even doing that? <laughs> so now G Giselle's really hurt and she's like, okay, Juan. Let me go and talk to you about your friend. This is where, again, it comes to that whole thing of Giselle wanted to go to counseling with Sherman because they were actually in a relationship for a year and a half. And so she thought it was serious. Sherman decided, no, he didn't want to do this. He was upset about how their relationship was really brought to the table with Giselle doing that interview. And she's trying to figure out, again, you didn't let me know why you were upset until a week later. I'm not a mind reader. I'm smart, but I'm not a mind reader. And you shut me out. I have kids. You, you know, you got ingrained in my life. And now I can't, you call. I mean, I call, you don't answer. You do this and that. We don't talk. And so I appreciate the fact that Giselle, at the end of the day, her whole mantra is, I'm not going to go and put up with someone doing that type of antics. I do, I do like, though, that clearly Juan, Juan is really friends with Giselle. Because Juan said, look, I hear what you're saying. But I, he said something about, you know, men, it take longer to... You know what? Sometimes that is true. Sometimes that is true. But, but, he let me know that Giselle, you have a habit of trying to rush things even just period so were you trying to go and rush things and just rush certain things out of him sooner than was supposed to i said hmm, that's insightful did you giselle giselle said look in general yes i know i've been told that but this is different this is different the relationship's done and over with no i don't want to hug um robin that's not what i need right now i just need some alcohol i don't care what it is just make it stick okay so we're going to get the mess next week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Again, like I said, I'm not doing Queen Sugar anymore. Great show. I just, uh, look, my channel might change really quickly because I'm not feeling a lot of this stuff anymore. I always need a shake up like every couple of years or so. So it's about that time.